Good morning in the morning this morning in the morning. We're back. Baby. We're back. Yeah, welcome back. Did you have a nice fourth? Yeah, it was so this fun. This is Kaylee Galloway's. She is the stars and stripes. Me. <laughs> and he's the whole flag. I'm old glory. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I want to show you what happened this weekend. Oh, we got some parade footage to show you here in just a second. But on Saturday night, I was hanging out at the Rib and Chop House patio. Oh, yeah. Live music. Let me introduce you to Heather Casper on the Barry Sax, as well as Kenny Banks and Fred Cantafio and Brent Verner. Hit it. Hey. It was like a jam session. It looks like it. And Fred just back there getting his jollies on. <laughs> and Kenny, I told him, I said, can you help me learn to play that? He goes, no. <laughs> Straight up. He said, what do you play? I said, the radio. <laughs> Hey, you had your turn on the saxophone, though. No, I don't play the saxophone. What are you talking about? Yeah, you do. I don't play the saxophone. Who does? Look at Brent. You were in band at there, one point. There's Heather Casper. She looked like anybody you might know. Uh, the mayor, perhaps? Uh, it could be an offspring. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. There's my buddy Chad over there. The trumpet, that's a good I did play the trumpet. They did real good. I enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. That's uh, so fun. And I had hot. Well, I forget, I forget what it was called. It's called Hot Rib and Chop House. Hot Honey, Hot Honey Goat Cheese. Oh, that sounds interesting. How was it? It'd make your bongos bongo. I know that. <laughs> right. Anyway, it was great I to see them. Thank you for that. Heather, you did a great job on the, on the, on the she played the alto yeah, and the berry Sounds sax. great. Wow. Fred. Now, also, we had a parade. I heard you, uh, you may have heard there was a parade. <laughs> You may have heard there was a holiday. Just rumors of a You parade. may have heard there was fireworks. <laughs> that is really what was going on this past yeah. week. So, uh, Cabron Sharp, my trusty cameraman, bouncer, <laughs> and the guy with the backpack. He did a good job keeping up with you. Uh, we, we ended up walking the whole parade, so I have some footage of that I want to share with you. If you didn't make it on live national Idaho Wyoming television, YouTube is even better. Hit, do we have the hey! parade? Yeah. So, as we walk through the parade route, Look at these kids. Hey. All dressed, look at them. Oh. Matching outfit. You gotta go to Ross for that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the place. <laughs> I just thought I'd put all these people on. Look at some of these people. It's like you've never seen a camera before. <laughs> They're just hyped. Hyped to see you. Well, it was, you it was like, do we have another clip we can play? Or just that one, there we go. We showed quite a few yeah, this morning. Yeah, we got another clip of the parade people. No, 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 yes, no. I mean, I walked for, what, an hour and a half? Yeah. Is there we another, whole we got another clip we can drag in in there? Yes, no. Hey, look at that guy. Okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> we, yeah, we've seen them Ross girls, yeah. I love how everybody does matching clothes around here. That's, that's a family thing. That's right? the best way to do it. Is it? it? You can get, that way you keep up with your clan. And you know exactly what they're wearing because they're all wearing the same thing. Yep. Well, yeah. Do we have another clip we can show? Because there are so many friendly people out there. I mean, we were walking behind the Fars ice cream truck with the city council. I was there with the mayor and Lisa Burtonshaw and you know, all the council people. They were collecting money for the Idaho Falls Food Bank, community right, food basket. Right, yeah. So we, we made sure they got on TV, but I, could, I couldn't get... I couldn't get the anchors to throw it back to me. I know, they only showed you twice. Can we, we got another clip of these kids? Hey! Yeah, see? <laughs> God, look at the tent in the front yard, hey. <laughs> they were prepared. They wanted to be on TV, so this is it, man. It's their moment. Almost as big as American Idol. And then when Almost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just thankful we don't do like water balloons and stuff, you know, in parades. You're glad we don't do I'm that? I'm glad, because, yeah. I know, some people love getting like, I, I think maybe we should guns. have another summer parade where we do that. Yeah, just we bring your squirt soaked. guns and give me a fire truck. <laughs> yeah. Is there another clip we can play? <laughs> All right, we'll play another one here. But uh, it was so much fun watching people's reactions. And then you, you come walking up to there these tents go. and people just hey. set up in people's yards. <laughs> And they again, get up early to set up. I know they they stake out there. Look at this kid. Look at this pole. kid. It's like his. Hey, figured it out. I'm waving. <laughs> yep. There's Lisa, and all the coordinated outfits. Lots going on. I always thought parades were cool growing up. Yeah. Because you got to see like all the fire trucks, and look look at him. Look at him. Hey, dude. What up? What up, man? Hi. What up, buddy? What up? I was walking right behind the fire truck. So. 
Yeah, it was. Well, I was talking, are your eardrums okay? Uh, no, <laughs> they hurt. <laughs> I can imagine. After the weekend, uh, they, it was really loud. It was so much fun. Uh, I want to show all of this on a separate YouTube presentation where I edit out all of this stuff you shouldn't see. Uh, <laughs> but again, we just we just walked around and put people on camera. It was a good time. Streamed the whole parade live for the very first time. Oh, and the, the ratings on it were huge. Yeah, thank you all for Thank all you all that. for watching. Yeah, amazing. we had a good time. We also showed some footage of the old timey yes. parade. Yes, 100 years ago. Should I show that now? Can you? I can. I can. I'll pull Hold it up. Why don't you it's stall coming. for a minute and talk about that honey goat cheese? Yeah, I'm gonna have yeah to I don't know. I don't know if I would try I'm that. Spread, First you, of spread all, I it think, on, you spread it on bread. But is it spicy? Mm, not really. I mean, it's got a little kick in it. It's like a goat kicked you. <laughs> After the fact. It's like the goat kicked you. <laughs> I don't know. How else would you describe it? Maddie, who was my server over there, she's like, yeah, mm, yummy. I'm like, okay, well, give it a whirl. We'll see what happens. The people <laughs> with me so all survived, funny. I think. They well, kept, good. I'm glad. They kept partying. I was like, I got to go. I got to go. I need I got, some milk. I got, I got to go see Man by the Dog. Yeah. All right. Let me show you. Let me show you some of the. Did we? We, we didn't have a chance to do this after. Um, no. All right. So this is Idaho First Falls time. back in the in the twenties. Yeah, this is the parade from back in the twenties. Okay. This is legit Idaho Falls footage that I got from K. Scott and the people at Video Master. And here they come, man. They brought in the oh, troops. That's so cool. From Fort, the, the, I mean, Fort Douglas. Where, did, where am I? I forget what Fort it was. But uh, so they where brought the in forts? all the groups in town. Everybody was in the parade. This is the 1920s, okay? And the lines were eight, ten people deep on the yeah. sides. See, they, even the hospital. Even, look at the candy stripers down here. Look at these little girls. <laughs> and Isn't the one on great? top. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look, a fake ambulance. So cute. <laughs> yeah, medevac. Everybody brought the tractors out. Everybody had the. Everybody got all dressed up. See, look at look at the yeah, lines. Yeah, it's a lot of lines. Look Holy at the cow. people. They're packed. Downtown Idaho Falls, 1927, 1928, and just a party with the bands, the music. We have this town loves Fourth of July. They do. They okay. do it right too. So yeah, well, thanks to somebody blowing stuff up yeah. Thursday night, Frank <laughs> Frank put it on, man. He flicked his bick, lit the fuse, uh, and our engineering crew got it all on the TV. So they would bring in aviators, famous uh, people, and big. I get that's not really a jet, but that's a big one. It's a plane. It's a bird. It's a plane. And what they, I'll show you what they, what they would do at the fireworks display. But in the evening for the 4th of July, they would pack this. Doesn't this look like Sandy Downs? I don't. It's got to be. Because they're running horses. Right. But the stands were packed and people would come out and they would compete. Look at, and look at this guy over here. He's going to lose money. Look at him. He's so excited. Hey, man, get it, get it up. Go, 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 yeah. go. Get. So they bring out the big music and then they'd have the beauty pageant too. With the best part. All, yeah, well, the cute little girls that would show Pretty up. Pretty girl walk. Yeah, so she's, yeah, she, yeah. Look at that. Look eight, at them curls. Eight, and eight, look, eight, yeah, eight. somebody's <laughs> showing out. Is it hot out there? Yeah, pretty much. So they had the beauty so pageant. Cute. And look at all the people, though. And they all got dressed up for this back in the 20s. And it was a community gathering. It just fascinates me when you see this old video like it this. It is so fascinating. And then the fireworks at night. Now, guaranteed, I can't put them in color because this is before television. <laughs> but... That's what it looked like. But the interesting thing was they would take those airplanes that they flew into town. I cannot believe they did this. I can't either. But they would bring in notable, there's Tommy Thompson. Tommy Thompson showed up and he would make a famous night flight. So they would attach sparklers to the end of his airplane. <laughs> like so dangerous. And zip through the sky. So again, this is all pre-Melaleuca fireworks explosion. But they were working on something big. Look at the, they got the sides of the plane on oh, fire. That's crazy. Yeah. So that's how they celebrated the Fourth of July. That's how they did it. Back before there was all this technology and stuff. Did you see the drones that crashed in uh, Seattle? No, I did not see that. Yeah, they did a on drone show, and they all got they all got discombobulated, and they went straight into the water, <laughs> like a forty thousand dollar display, and it's like uh oh. Lost your drones. Whoopsies. Yeah. Well, and then the incident at BYU with the firework hitting the girl, and then she's like, I'm still going to perform. Don't you worry. Girl, you're better than me. She should be on scholarship, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. She needs to get some money and from the And don't anybody start playing that song by Alicia Keys. Yeah. <laughs> 
got me there. You got me there. Gabe, you know what song I'm talking about? No. Come on, girl. Stadium this with fire. This girl is on fire. <laughs> Your, My husband's here. He's watching. Right. Come on over here, Gabe. Let's Come start. say hi. Come on. Say hey. You put on your little vest. <laughs> he's, he's all ready for work. <laughs> it's like sending a yeah, kid to school. Yeah, you turn around as a pop singer. No. Come over here. Hey. No, right here. No, come right here in the middle. Look at this, his This is Gabe Galloway. There you go. He yeah, is. Looking, the, he's, he's looking right, right here ahead. at the little red light. Over oh. There. Yes, and let's see, this is what he looks like. <laughs> oh, don't take the hat off. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't, don't reveal the hair. You got work today? You got a week off? No days off. You work? You semi working? It's nice to be rich. You're working. <laughs> it's nice to make bank. <laughs> hey, we wanted to show this too. Cause Gabe, I want your impression. Of, come oh, over yeah, here and show, come show this. So this this is at a local place to eat, which I, I think is a great. They got great salads. Before you show it, what Before do you think you show, of it? What do you think of that? Squat. Does it disturb you? It's interesting. <laughs> yep. Does it give you the ick? The ick. The ick. <laughs> Thoughts? Come on. Um, Don't you want to lick it? I, it, it no, just kidding. <laughs> I mean, the pizza looks good. That's what I'm saying. The pizza looks good. This has upset the stripping industry. He was talking about Magic Mike's. I'm talking about Ben Franklin, <laughs> and he a stripper, and now everybody thinks it's a hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, like, like I said, the pizza looks good. <laughs> so this, else this is the box from Lucy's Pizzeria in Idaho Falls. They're pushing the limits because oh, they got old Ben Franklin up there gnawing on some Italian pizza with his dicky. And he's got, he's ripped. But I, is that cheese or suspenders? That's, That's suspenders. Right. That cannot be <laughs> cheese. Well, he's got his dicky on and he's shirtless. I'm like, what? Stop <laughs> saying that. Well, that's what it is. It's a scarf. It's a dicky. Okay, <laughs> no. it's a it's a dick dicky thing. So, and then that's Ben. That's his I face. Think, I think they they're trying to up the tips. <laughs> Hundred dollars. They're alluding to the. Go ahead, show that in front of the. Take that up to the yeah, camera, Gabe. Yeah, Get your close up. Uh, yeah, work what, for us while what, you're here. What gives it? Maybe a little oh, out of focus. Yeah, yeah, back up. Uh, yeah, there, there you go. go. <laughs> look at that. Don't put my face on. Yeah, it looked like Ben discovered electricity and burnt his clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're ripped, whatever. I think he was shocking. <laughs> Thanks, that, babe. That is a dicky. Or a, 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 a what do you call it? A, a, a ascot. There you go. I like you can pick one, one of the two words, Dickie like or Ascot. Ascot's better. Okay, say it loud. <laughs> uh, we want to know what gives you the ick. Yeah, let us know. There's 20, 208-534-9957. 208-534-9957. 208-534-9957. You know what gives me the ick? Tell me. Lot lizards, pit lizards. What do you mean uh, by that? Buckle bunnies. Those <laughs> women that hang out. Oh. At sporting events and stuff, trying to hook up with some of the, you know, athletes and the cowboys. And yeah, stuff. just to. You could, I mean, get you can see it when their eyelashes go up and down. It like creates a breeze. <laughs> and it got so much breeze. makeup on, it looked like the gallbladder busted. <laughs> a lot of lip filler too. <laughs> lip. <laughs> Jeff just like that. I, you know, I thought about getting some. I probably should get some more Botox. Why? The more Botox you get, the less expression you have. Well, again, I'm too expressive. Consultants come in and say, stop moving around so much. Yeah. It's like, you, to be a big star, you got to have plastic face. Mm hmm But don't go out in the heat. Do you think it'll melt me? <laughs> You'll melt. Well, I haven't had plastic. I have no, like, plastic parts. Good. It's all real parts. <laughs> Some just do, work well, better than others. Maybe, I think Preparation H is supposed to tighten you up in it. Preparation 8? H. H. Oh, I, I don't know. Preparation 8? What, what is I, that? I don't know. That's what I thought. Is that what said. we do from 4 a.m. to 5? <laughs> <laughs> preparation 8. You never heard of Preparation H? Uh-uh. Okay. It's a medication cream, but it's supposed to tighten things up. Oh, interesting. And you're supposed to use it not on your face, on the opposite <laughs> end. H stands for hemorrhoid. Oh, my gosh. I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> But it's, Thanks, they use it in beauty that. pageants and you know makes your skin tight. I guess I don't know. I don't do it. <laughs> Good. I'm but glad. women have long hair. They can do stuff behind their head. Yeah, I've seen like the tape, tape that like pull it all back. Do this. The, it's so interesting. Uh, I can't talk. <laughs> all right. You got anything you want to share? Um. No. That's all. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> What's that? I, I thought you might have good? something. I thought you might want to tell everybody something. It's Monday. I'm slow this morning. Okay. I'm getting is, back into it. Holidays you, wreck you got me. Feeling love. Maggie, our producer's back. Maggie, come on. You want to come on in here and tell us about your trip? 
Oh, Maggie, to Alaska. Maggie explained the other day on uh, Live National Idaho Wyoming Radio that uh, she was afraid of bears. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. It's Come on in here. She left. Come on in and tell the story. Tell us what happened on your trip to the great Northwest. I actually did not see a bear. No I bears. saw the backside of a moose, though. That's the best Stop side. talking about the balls. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> we, we, I, 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 no, tell us what happened. Because you were afraid to go into the uh, the glaciers, areas. Yes. So it was like day two of our trip. And uh, this was with my in-laws. They're very outdoorsy people. I've never gone hiking in my life. <laughs> and so the first day, the first hike, they're like, we're going to go 4,000 feet in elevation in four miles. No. Which, in case huh. you're wondering, is basically like rock climbing. <laughs> It's, no. it's not hiking. It's like hands and knees like, up the rocks. Um, and so when are y'all getting divorced? <laughs> we're not, but I think, he, I think his family saw a side of me. They, they didn't really. Did you cry? I cried. I dry heaved. I did all oh of the things. Gosh, Oh, my gosh, dude. Word. This was not a vacation. <laughs> no. But I really liked We went <laughs> river rafting later in the week, and that was that fun. That was fun. Yeah. Because you didn't do nothing. You sit there. Well, I was in the front, so I was getting like splashed by Like whitewater rafting? Yeah. And, oh. and it was in, the, like, the glacier water that, like, just melted, like, 12 hours before. So Freezing. It's like, yeah, 35 degrees. Ooh. They're trying to send you a signal. <laughs> I liked the river rafting. Yeah, okay. We were in a dry suit, so it was actually okay. pretty warm. But, yeah, the hiking was rough. Well, how was the food? I mean, let's talk. Let's get down to brass tacks here. Did you have any seafood? <laughs> no, it was really expensive, even up there. <laughs> Expensive. They yeah. drove you through boot camp, and they couldn't buy you a fish dinner. <laughs> no. <laughs> you oh my gosh, no when I went to Hawaii, I, I have well, <laughs> When I went to Hawaii, I tried fish for the first time, and I liked it. You never had fish. I before. Never had fish before, <laughs> yeah. ever. I'm also from Washington, so like. Fish. Do you they like throw fish? fish at people in Washington. <laughs> it's not at people. Yeah, they do. Oh, they throw it oh, at for people. people. When's the first time you had fish? Hawaii, a couple weeks ago. You are kidding me. I think it likes it, it's the smell. Gabe? Yeah. Is that true? That is the first time. He got video proof of this. Why, Why have we smell? not discussed this? <laughs> I don't you know. You don't like the smell. Well, no, don't eat it. If fish shouldn't right. smell like fish, then don't eat it. If it doesn't smell like but fish, this but it's one, fish. yeah, this one did not smell. Yeah, it's so prepared. I was like, okay, yeah. I'll eat it. And it was good. It was really fish good. Should only smell it was like fish if it's bad fish. Okay, right. see, that's why I stay away from it. And well, you uh, been, sushi. Where have you been going? Uh, Captain D's sushi. <laughs> it's got more rice than it does fish. Yeah, a it's gross. It it's raw. A lot of a lot of times it's crab with a K. <laughs> yeah, see, that's nasty. <laughs> Don't eat that. <laughs> crab with a K. Crab oh with a K. God. It ain't crab. I'm just going to tell you. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Y'all well. will remember the things I tell you the rest of your life. It'll be playing the back of my Go eyes. to the store today and go look. Crab flavored crab cakes with a K. Mm, I don't know about crab. that. Uh, yeah, crab impersonators. Crab's his favorite. Chomp, chomp. He loves crab. Yeah, crab is great, man. Last crab legs, man, some butter, some Old Bay. Make you want to slap your mama. All right, <laughs> we got to go. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Tell Ben Franklin we said put a shirt on. Yes, please. Even stay stay it, on my 20. Even it is going to be hot. Yeah, <laughs> give me $100. He's a stripper now. <laughs> father of our country. Yeah. That's my founding father. Hey. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's somebody's daddy. Like that. <laughs> yeah, but it discovered.